Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is a fun algebra word problem. Now, some of you out there might say, come on now, Mr. YouTube Math Man, algebra is not fun, and word problems are especially not fun, but listen, your attitude towards anything uh, makes a huge difference in whether you're going to be successful or not. So if you have to learn math, try to say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to treat this as like a puzzle, a riddle. I'm just going to try to figure this out, maybe like a game, because that kind of put you in a good mindset. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this problem. It is a, a little bit lengthy, but let me read it to you and kind of squeeze in the entire problem right here. So it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 80 meters. Now when the length is decreased by seven meters and the width is increased by seven meters, the figure is a square. So the resulting figure is a square. We wanna find the dimensions of the rectangle. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to read this problem more than once and uh, you know, think about how can you solve this? I don't think this is overly difficult, but it certainly will require you uh, to kind of you know, uh, think about what's going on. You know, and I'll just tell you right now without giving you too many of uh, you know, hints and clues on how to solve this, because I want to give you a full opportunity on how to do this. You always want to have some sort of model, some sort of sketch of what's going on. Okay, so I think that's kind of obvious. Anyways, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to uh, solve this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so... I basically have something called the rule of three, which means uh, before you take on any word problem, read it at least three times. Uh, you know, the first time, just get your bearings. The second time, you know, uh, pull more details, start thinking about, you know, how to solve the problem. And then, you know, at the third time, you really want to make sure you understand the question. So we know the perimeter of this rectangle. So we're dealing with the rectangle. And then obviously the uh, length is going to be decreased and the width is going to be increased. If we uh, decrease the length and then uh, increase the width, we uh, take that rectangle and we um, uh, the resulting figure becomes a square, all right? So with that information, we wanna know the dimensions of the rectangle, not the square, the rectangle. So what is the answer? Well, let's take a look at it right now. The answer is 13 by 27 meters. That is uh, the dimensions of the rectangle. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm definitely going to give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that, yes, indeed, you are in, uh, an algebra hero. You can take on and solve even the most challenging and interesting math word problems that come your way. So nice job. And for those of you that are confused, you're like, I don't even understand the problem. Well, let's get into that right now. Okay, so if the problem seems confusing, that's perfectly normal because there is a lot of information here, right? So again, you don't want to just try to read the problem once and then start doing stuff. That's the worst thing you can do. Read it, read it again, maybe read it uh, four or five times, whatever the case is. Just make sure you fully understand the scenario. So... Here we have the perimeter of a rectangle. So obviously we need to understand what the perimeter is. We'll talk more about that in a second. But we're taking this particular rectangle and the length is gonna be decreased by a certain amount, which is seven meters. And then the width is going to be increased by that same amount, seven meters. And basically we're kind of reshaping this rectangle into a square, right? But we wanna find the dimensions of the rectangle. So, you know, the best way to kind of uh, start, you know, thinking about this problem is just to, you know, come up with some sort of sketch. So let's just start real basic here. So here we have a rectangle and here we have a square. So here's like the bef uh, before picture, right? <laughs> here's the after uh, picture. So we're obviously going to be uh, decreasing uh, the length and then increasing the width. And the resulting figure is going to be this square 
right here. Okay, so you know, kind of think about all right, well, I'm going from this to this, but I do have some measurements in here and I don't know some of these values. So when you don't know some values, you're going to have to use a variable to represent something. Now, there's a couple different approaches you can take, but here is, uh, I think, the simplest approach. So let's go ahead and go down here. Okay, so I know that if I um, uh, decrease the length of this rectangle and increase the width, I'm going to kind of reshape this thing into a square. But what I do know about a square, uh, which I don't know precisely about this rectangle, but I know a square that the um, sides are equal, the length and the width are equal. So I'm going to uh, select the variable X to represent the sides of this um, uh, square here. Okay, so it's kind of working backwards, right? We're kind of starting with the square, but they're kind of we're going to kind of reverse engineer the before picture because I know the result is going to be some side times this side, and these are the same amount. So I'm going to let X represent the uh, uh, the length of this one side of the square, i.e. the length or the width. It's the same amount. Okay, now going back to our problem, okay, uh, we're told that if we, let's go back over here very precisely, if um, when the length is decreased uh, in this rectangle, if we decrease, now notice the words decreased by 7, all right, so let's just focus on that. What does that mean? Well, if we decrease this length, x, uh, if we decrease this length right here, okay, by 7, we're going to end up with this uh, uh, measure right here on this square, x, right? So how, what kind of an algebraic expression can I use for this length? Well, how about x plus 7? Because if I decrease this length right here by 7, I'm going to get x plus 7 minus 7 or x. So this makes sense, right? So if I decrease the length by 7, I'm going to get x. And then the other part of that problem is if you increase, let's go back up here just to be super clear, uh, and the width is increased by 7, all right, so now it's the opposite kind of situation. So here I would have x minus 7. If I increase x minus 7 by 7, all right, that's x minus 7 plus 7, I'm going to get just x, all right? So these are our two expressions right here. x plus 7 could represent the length, and x minus 7 would represent the width of this rectangle, and the perimeter of this rectangle is 80, okay? So if that makes sense, you're like, okay, I get that. So now we need to go ahead and uh, start talking about the perimeter. Okay, so what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter of any uh, object or any figure is simply the sum total around the side. So in uh, the case of a rectangle, if we um, add up the uh, two lengths okay, and the two widths, we get the total distance around the rectangle. That is the perimeter. So uh, the perimeter of a rectangle, we can kind of construct a little formula like this, two times the length plus two times the width. And we have expressions here uh, for the length and the width. So we know that the length is equal to x plus 7 and the width is equal to x minus 7. So we can simply plug in for L and W these respective um, expressions, right? So 2 times the length would be 2 times x plus 7. Again, that is our length right there. And then the width is x minus 7. So 2 times the width, 2 times x minus 7. So now let's just go ahead and do the algebra. But now let's pay attention here. Uh, I did um, uh, mention in the problem that it says that the perimeter is 80 meters. So that's what the perimeter is equal to. So we're, we're basically constructing an equation. So in an algebra word problem, you're going to have to find some sort of relationship such that you have an equation to solve for these unknowns. So anyways, uh, that is one aspect of this problem. Hopefully you knew about, uh, you know, you know about perimeter. Uh, it's a pretty basic uh, geometry concept, but nevertheless, if you didn't, that's what it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and concentrate on solving for x. So here we're going to go ahead and distribute the 2. So that would be 2 times x. That gives us 2x, and then 2 times 7, that's 14. 2 times x here, 2x, 2 times this, negative 7, negative 14. And here we have these 14s going away, but positive 14. And a minus 14, they cross cancel. So 2x and 2x is 4x. 
and 4x is equal to 80. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. We get x is equal to 20. Now, some of you could be like, that's the answer. Oh, I'm so awesome. x is equal to 20. So you turn that in, and then you get, you know, your, your teacher says that's wrong. And your expression is going to be like this. Hey, what are you talking about, Mr. Math teacher? I did this right. You're wrong. And then you're going to get into the situation, and you know, you're going to be very, very upset. And then your teacher is going to be like, did you answer the question? Okay. X equals 20 is what? Is that, the, is that answering the question? The question is, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Well, if you just said X is equal to 20, you're not done yet. Okay. So this is why, you know, I'm really, you know, uh, you know, what's what I'm trying to say. Very, you know, I'm very serious about the advice and guidance I, you know, I give. Now, why would I, you know, give you advice? Because I've been doing this for many, many years and, and decades, you know, and, you know, when you see hundreds of thousands of pa papers have come your way, homework, test quizzes, you know, and then, of course, I made all these errors uh, myself through, you know, many, many, many years. You just see patterns. So I'm just telling you, if you put that in the back of your head, all right, did I answer the question? When you're done, just make sure you answer the question. But X is equal to 20. We're not done yet. So let's go back to our original rectangle. Okay, we know that X now is equal to 20. So I want to find the actual measures, uh, the dimensions of this rectangle. Remember, we had this expression X plus 7. So X is 20, so that would be 20 plus 7. So that's 27 meters. Remember, our perimeter is in meters. So X minus 7 is going to be 20 minus 7, which is 13, but 13 meters. And again, we want to include those units of measure. So there you go. That's how you do this problem. And, uh, you know, uh, like anything, uh, it takes practice to get good at something, right? So you can't just, you know, watch me do a problem and be like, oh, I bet you I could do that the next time out. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But here's the deal. If you want to get better at math or better at word problems, you simply have to practice, okay? You got to practice, 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 but you got to really understand the underlying concepts as skills, skills as well. So if you need help with any of this stuff, um, whether it's the perimeter concepts um, or you know the algebra uh, portion of this, I'm going to uh, recommend a couple different courses to you. You can either check out like my pre-algebra course or maybe my algebra one course. Okay, those are two be two good options for you. Probably more towards the pre-algebra because I go over a lot of basic geometry concepts in that course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.